Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your July 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well Virgo. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. Um, now remember, these readings can resonate from when I release them and they won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always, okay? So the message is for you, we have you're ready. Isn't that lovely? You are ready, Virgo. Um, it just feels beautiful. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. July 2021, thank you. What is the message for our lovely Virgos? Okay, the card's out. We've got the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups is Foundation, Crowning Thoughts. We have the King of Pentacles, which can be you. Gemini is a Taurus for me, but it can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female energy. We've got Taurus there as well. Um, we have the Seven of Swords in your immediate past. The devil is in your immediate future, Virgo. Ten of Wands, your fears. Wheel of Fortune, your environment. King of Cups. Is uh, your hopes, dreams, wishes. And the Seven of Pentacles is your outcome virgo and it's interesting bottom of the deck i've looked it's the the lover's energy card of gemini um sometimes this can represent a choice in terms of love romance relationships okay i'm going to clarify a couple of cards before we start let's clarify the seven of swords in the immediate past We have the Eight of Wands, the Death card, let's clarify the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, let's do the Devil. We have the star energy, five of cups. Let's uh, have a look at the 10 of wands in your fears, 10 of cups. Wheel of fortune, we have the seven of cups and the king of cups. We have the world one more for that one. I've come out with the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And do the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, Virgo. Okay. Um, it feels like there is some choice, some choice that you're being presented with and you're being told that you're ready because you've give, been giving this some considerable thought for a period of time. The, uh, the death card can be a card of endings. Um, and the eight of, of wands can be communication, conversations, but also moving forward. It feels like something has ended here, but someone is getting in contact who is acting strategically. They've got their own motives here in this situation. So it feels like they're 
there was an ending here, but I feel for some of you, this person is back. Yeah, in terms of love, romance, relationships. There's a kind of energy of wiping the slate clean with this energy as well, Virgo. It feels quite significant. I mean, this is about starting up communications, conversations out of the blue. But they have their own motives in terms of why they're getting in contact with you. It might well be for some of you that, you know, this conversation might well be quite superficial to start off with. But it's almost kind of like they're acting in a specific way in order to reconnect with you. That's what I'm feeling. The Ace of Cups, and it feels like the, it is, because the Ace of Cups, the motivation I'm feeling for, for them is the Ace of Cups to start a relationship up, and I feel it's starting a relationship up again. Uh, this is a card, it's a beautiful, pure energy, the Ace of Cups. It's, a cup, it's the cup of joy, it's the cup of love. Um, it is somebody who is who has feelings uh, that are being expressed that want to start a new beginning with somebody or restart a new beginning with somebody. And I'm feeling that's the energy here. That's what's driving this here. There's a kind of feeling that you're... It feels like you're being dragged back to the past, back to a cycle. The Hierophant can represent um, institutions, so it can, traditional institutions, marriage, religion, education, I mean, and so on. Um, so committed relationships even. It could be some kind of committed relationship that you've been dealing with. Sometimes the Hierophant is also a card of, of you know, it's a card of um, when we question meaning, want to find you know, answers, why is this happening to me, what's it all about, how do I move forward, you know, um, do I want to do this again, you know, it's all this kind of energy of, of um, questions for meaning, and it's, it's an energy of spiritual wisdom, spiritual faith, the idea that, you know, if you trust in spirit, the answer will become clear to you. Um, we have that with the Nine of Wands, which is, oh, do I want to do this again, I'm tired, you know, I'm tired of this. Do I want to pull, be pulled back to the past again? Because it's like the same thing is coming up again and there's a feeling I'm tired of it. And you might be kind of wanting to find some answer, meaning to the predicament that you're in. Uh, it's interesting as well, the Hierophant is a card of Taurus and I've got two cards of Taurus. You might be dealing with the Taurus, we've got Cancer, we've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn on the table here, so those might be signs that mean something to you. Um, the, high, the, the Taurus energy generally represents stability, security, safety, success. Um, but in this energy, it feels like you're questioning, is this something that I can trust? Is this something that I can build on? Because I've already overcome this, you know? The, can we overcome a difficult situation and really put it behind us? Is this something that I want to go for now? Because I've already overcome this once, maybe a number of times. There's a kind of feeling of repeating cycles here. I had this for Libra, actually. I think it was Libra. You might be dealing with a Libra as well. We've got Gemini here as well. Um, and that's what I'm feeling in this situation. Because that what's crowning you, what your thoughts are, is you want something stable. You want something secure. You want someone who you can trust. There could have been trust issues here, um, and that's what is that's what the driving force is towards your decision. Certainly, somebody is. They regret their actions again. This can be vice versa, Virgo, but I feel this is the other person. They regret their actions, and they are hoping that they can renew something with you. They're they're still they're hoping there's still hope. I mean, the star energy is a card of hope, faith, renewal, reasons to be optimistic. It feels like there's best intentions, but the situation still is the devil, repeating of an unhealthy cycle, um, wanting to... This is generally when the devil appears, 
it's a card of excess one thing that blows everything else is there's a dominant thing uh, that seems to overwhelm everything else it causes instability in a relationship um, that could be addiction codependency um, obsession possession control power struggles manipulation i mean call it what you will um and the devil is still there so it feels like somebody has their best intentions here and there's a sense of hope faith renewal but the devil is still there it's still an energy of wanting to start up a cycle again of an unhealthy pattern of an unhealthy relationship uh, something that I feel for some of you you broke free of there was an ending and it feels like the cycle has the potential to repeat now yeah they're hoping that there's still hope with you but you know uh, Virgo the ten of cups we've got two tens which is completion energy but completely different energies here <clears throat> because what seemed to be the blissful relationship the happy ever after turned out to be a burden pressure a heavy energy and there's kind of an energy here in your fears you're still carrying the burdens from what happened in the past can we still get this ten of cups back you know there was real high moments here there was real happiness again this can be to do with marriage a long-term committed relationship um, this is a blissful relationship this is a happy ever after energy this is feeling content on every level but for some of you there was burden there was pressure there was responsibility there was a heavy journey as part of this process and you're not sure if you want to make space for the new this is your predicament you may still be carrying the burdens of what happened in the past what caused this ending and I don't know if you want to put those ones down and start a new uh, a new journey with somebody who you experience this with there's almost kind of like a chameleon effect of yeah you know there's full of promise hope optimism but there's the underlying energy here of yeah but it was difficult yeah but it was difficult to break free of yeah it was one of the things that i had to overcome you know and draw a line under and move forward and there was a reason for an ending you know and and i feel this to do with what this king represents which i feel is mimicking your energy as well uh, you want stability security safety someone who you can build a life with but there it feels like you're not sure that you want to go back repeating the cycle and that's what you are thinking do i want to repeat this cycle because the wheel of fortune is um it is a karmic energy and the seven of cups is somebody who has choices to make but there's confusion because emotions and feelings are involved in this situation uh, the wheel of fortune is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings um, it is about life cycles the opportunity is coming round again to start up with somebody and that wheel of fortune is asking you do you want to repeat a cycle um, do you want to um, open up to this is can something be turned around here but it can also be to do with Jupiterian energy is an energy of to do with our belief system you know the core values the core principles on how we operate and I'm feeling for some of you or have your beliefs changed by the previous experience you've had has it altered your in how you do move forward to a new cycle now yeah and how you do make choices maybe keep your options open it doesn't feel like anybody's really committing anything it doesn't feel like you're ready to commit anything here the message is Virgo um, 
you're guarded you're there's definitely an energy of somebody is making a decision in terms of how they're going to move forward and step through to a new phase of their life i mean you know the the world card is a card of completing a cycle so i feel in this situation some of you may be considering cutting cords because we have that with the the ace of swords um, this can be a card of truth a card of realization the clarity uh, the truth of the situation seeing the truth of the situation for what it is and how you do move forward now now you know it can be a card of, you know, drawing a line under something and stepping through to a new beginning. But I'm feeling in this situation, some of you, um, it feels it will become clear in terms of how you move forward. The King of, King of Cups is definitely somebody, you can see he sits in the middle of the ocean. And the ocean, the Cups energy, all represent water, which is, you know, the water can be miles and miles deep. But he's actually managed to master his heart, his suit. So it feels you will certainly get clarity by mastering your emotions in this situation it feels like logic has to play a part in how you do move forward but the clarity will become clear and that's what you're being told in what this new life cycle means for you in terms of how you move forward because there's definitely an energy virgo of i'm feeling some opposition some defensive energy um and it's to do with what's of value to you now and what's not the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of taking stock, evaluating. You know, somebody who, um, is it worth my time and effort to continue putting effort into this? Or do I, you know, knowing that it was maybe a challenge, uh, it can be a challenge, you know, all my reasoning and logic is opposing me. It might well be in that situation, there's something opposing you here some opposition that you're feeling in how you move forward but it feels for some of you the message is take time to take stock get things clear consider what's of value to you and certainly with this energy you will understand how you want to move forward the decision will become clear it's a big energy for somebody a huge reading for somebody and it's to do with a choice is this pure love is this the love that I'm really looking for? Is this my perfect soulmate, my perfect partner, somebody who fits me beautifully? Or do I need to see through some kind of illusion? You know, do I need to see things for what they are and not for how that I want them to be, you know? So it, it feels that there is some predicament that you're in and it feels like a love predicament. Somebody is wanting to repeat a cycle, but for some of you, there is a decision to make. And I feel that the decision will become clear. You will see things in the light of truth, um, that mental clarity, that clear epiphany that will come your way. And that's what the universe is saying to you. And that's what the universe is bringing into you. That will allow you to make a decision with your full emotions kept in check. And you'll understand how you do want to move forward, step through to a new phase, a new cycle. For some of you, it might well be you're considering cutting cords, breaking free. Uh, again, it feels like there's just some kind of important decision to make. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please, as a final message? Virgo, it feels like a very big reading for somebody. So we have Penguin, Diamond Light Activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Yeah, look, we have Sea Turtle, Conservation, Make Conscious Choices. Yeah, and this is fully conscious, fully conscious, seeing the big picture, enlightenment, illumination, full clarity, 
uh, seeing things in the cold light of day. It's logic and reason with you mastering those emotions as well. So there's definitely an energy of some balanced choice, a balanced decision that's coming your way. That is what I have. The message is that you're ready, regardless of what this is, you're ready. Um, it feels like an empowering energy here, Virgo. Know that you will be ready once, once you come to the right conclusion, the right decision, you'll be ready to act on it. You know, you'll be ready to act on it and do what's right for you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.